Alright, ladies and gentlemen and everything in between, welcome back to Let's Play King's Quest VI. We left off a little bit ahead of this last time, but since it's pretty much all like cutscene sort of stuff from here, uh, I figured I'd sort of jump back in bored with the pointless at the wrong time. I guess? Sound of rocks <laughs> Something moving against like that. Rock. Yeah. And somebody who isn't Jesus pops out, which is a shame, I guess. I love how they Lady bow just by having I'd a few pixels well. in their head tilting. Well, I'm I don't know, it quite that well, bad. thanks to the bravery of a mere human. So much for your superior. Alright, you know what, you racist? You can just bite me. Yes, really, lady. I mean, I. Now bring him along. You know, I have, I have a dagger I'm going of hers home. now. I'm gonna saw your wings off. Yeah, your spears don't frighten me. Saw <laughs> your wings right off. And I'm be <laughs> What's wrong with me, man? <laughs> I must have started this up in the wrong mood or something. I don't know. All right, time for time for something we didn't see. Then I see you have Let's, proven yourself the hero of the prophecy. Well, I am expected to thank you for saving my daughter's life. But you speak as if you so want. I thank you. Oh, mm -hmm. I am obliged to thank Sorry. you for the restoration of our sacred catacombs. It means much to our people. Hey, you speak we as have if already you begun the process of clearing the deadly traps from its rooms. What you mean you it is didn't also build my those? duty to the, grant the you a visit with those? the Oracle. What? So this I do. I will grant you the freedom to leave here unharmed, despite my orders to the contrary from the crown. But there my oh, obligations you rebel, to you, you end. I have no love for Alhazred. Yeah, but I mean, he is my leader. Kind of and isn't if he? Princess Kasima trusts him and wishes to wed oh, him, oh, oh, sorry, sir. Sorry. My guards will take you to the Oracle now. When your time with her is through. I want you to leave the city of the Winged Ones and never return. I don't know you who mean, you so are you or what you want here, me? I but I will not that. disobey my crown you think I'm further. The doctor? I thank you, Lord me? Azure. I will respect your wishes. I'm such a nerd. Alright, and you know, if, what's wrong with me? I was like talking over them as they're speaking, and then when they stop talking and it's just music left over, I'm like, I have nothing to say. Really. Alright. Cute little animation stuff here, kinda. Hail to thee, great like Oracle. Cutouts, Lord like Azure me. sends you this wingless yeah. mail. It appears that he solved the cliffs of logic and... Defeated the Minotaur in his lair. So I have seen. You know it all. Stop cutting so people off the when they're talking. My Interrupt her. Mate. Welcome, young seeker. What knowledge do you desire? Princess Kasima, whatever you can tell me, Great Oracle. Ah, but he didn't really ask a question. He just sort of like. That explains yeah, I don't know. my images. Let us see what we can see. You know, what's wrong with her hair? You notice that it's it's like it's not like hair at all. It's like she's got fur segments sitting on top of her head. I see Yay. a maiden, lovely and pure, but surrounded by evil. She's a rose set amidst bitter thorns. Ah, uh, yes. It is of course, her you have fate to have more cliche, to be the right? of dark powers. And yours to try to redeem her. And mine, you say? And mine? How? How do I redeem her? Whoa, jeez. Fate is not like the cut of a blade, young one. But rather, like the myriad of paths formed when a hammer cracks ice. No, I'm serious. I cannot take my I eyes off that weird what hair. I can. It's like fur hat. But what will actually hair. come to pass? Strange. It's up to you. Except for the fact that it's got I like a perfect that part right in the middle. To reach the girl will force you into battle. A struggle against a dark force. If you lose, your life will be forfeit. Who must I fight? A great darkness surrounds your adversary. Preventing me from seeing clearly. I can only make out the shape of a black cloak. But before this final struggle, I see an infiltration. A dangerous game of hide and seek in corridors filled with enemies. The risks are high, but it is the only way to reach the one you seek. You know, it's supposed to come across like foreshadowing of some sort, but it really place. doesn't apply. I'm not even kidding. It's not like it's just vague. Much. It's actually not what else do you legit see, mighty as much Oracle? as it sounds. 
Yeah, and what she said there about it was up to our choice that was kind of telling us about how we could. Ooh, chop oh, us like holograms, 3D, oh, future technology. I see two Sorry. restless spirits crying out for revenge. These shades mm. could help you destroy the dark force if they were to be brought back from their spiritual form. Yet this is only one possible path to your destiny. Now we're going all Greek I'm mythology here. This is getting Bringing people me. out of Hades. I know very little about the afterlife. I can only advise getting counsel from the druids. Be warned. The druids are reclusive and dangerous. They might aid you, or they might destroy you. Oh, like no. Like island, the druids' nature is hidden in the mists. There is now, as you recall, there was a, a spot on the map before Except the smack give you this. that was covered in misty, googly gosh, whatever you want to call it. And now... It, this it has been mentioned. From the we should be able to visit it. Oh. That and my blessing go with Oh yeah, like that's gotta do anything. What are you, a priest? Thank you, pastor? great oracle. Uh, reverend? Pope? No such thing as a winged lady pope. It doesn't apply. You know, that would be pretty cool to be pope though, I guess. Well, eh, not really. Cause then, you know, you'd be old. You know, if you're, if you're a chick, you know, you, you wouldn't be old because you wouldn't be Pope, I suppose, unless things change in time. But, you know, and then people would always be looking at you as if, you know, they expected you to be touching little boys or so. You know, you know let's, let's not get into that. I don't want to, like, be Alexander horrifyingly offending map. any Catholics who might be watching this out of all, like, what, ten of you who might watch this video ever. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, okay, so there it is, the Isle of the Mists, and so uh, now that that's available, we're gonna go. Alexander there. feels a strange pulling sensation. Yeah. So we're gonna go check that out because there's something we can do before we can. Oh yeah, that's right. Uh, we haven't been here before, but we also haven't been over to uh, the Isle of the Beast in particular. From the northeast come the sounds of mysterious drums and chanting. Suppose that's good, right? Probably not. So to the north, there's stuff going on, but we really want to be kind of subtle here. If we go over there right now, to be perfectly honest, we die. From One the of those east come the Sierra sounds of mysterious King's drums Quest and things, chanting. You know what I mean? Um, you know this thing always. I thought that was pretty cool too. I mean, you can't. A get horned it, but... animal skull is on display in the center of the village. Based on its central location, it may perhaps serve as ceremonial protection against danger. Yeah, you know, it's probably something I want. Alexander right? can think of less desirable things to carry around than that animal skull. No, I no, I can't. He decides no. to leave it alone. <laughs> no, no, he didn't. I, you know, if I'm supposed to be Alexander, I decided I want it. Alexander I've always wanted the fire that thing. And takes always. a lot of coal. Yeah, so we want the coal. Oh, yeah, and you see that that sticks a out a lot, doesn't it? Scythe hangs so I kind of grab the coal without the saying a dang thing, but I want it. So. And uh, I'm sure you couldn't hear what the narrator was saying about that either. But anyway, we're picking up the scythe <laughs> now that Alexander I've stopped the scythe. yapping my face off. And so if we were to go in from those the... directions, oh yeah, from the east, the same blah 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 stuff is happening. So we don't want to go over there. We actually we want to leave. From in... Yes, yes, yes. If it were text, I could skip it anyway. So now we, we've got Alexander that stuff. pulls out his magic map. So pulls out the smap. Yeah, hurry up, man! How long does it take to unravel one roll of smap? Uh, here we go. Isle of the Beast. Alexander we feels a strange pulling sensation. I do believe just enough that uh, the Isle of the Beast is free for. Exploration. And so we do this. We do this like Brutus. And yeah. And uh, well, well, it's kind of boring over here, you guys. I'm totally sorry that it's taken me so long to upload another Let's Play episode. Uh, man, I feel like it's it's been probably 
what, like three weeks or something? No, not really, like two, like, like a week and a half to two weeks since my last upload of an LP. Uh, so, but I've been working on another Project Jurassic episode, and, well, you know, in life, you know how it is, right? You know? Now, we have something to work with this. Uh, check it out. This, we have a shield. So, I mean, yeah, it's like a stone archer, but I think Alexander we can handle decides it. to pass through the gate, We're preparing tough. the shield just in case. We got case. a shield made of gravery or something. More gravery. The magic Catacombs. arrow completely shatters the shield. Good thing the arrow didn't hit Alexander. Yeah, because otherwise I guess it would have shattered us. I don't know. Alexander walks forward to step onto the gazebo. And all of a sudden... But the rose hedges on either side of the path, sensing an intruder's presence, reach out their vines and blend together. The path is blocked. Oh, no! Oh, let's see, should I do this? Should I not do this? Should I wait? Uh, first of all, let's grab one of these things. We want one of Alexander these. Alexander takes a magnificent white rose from the rose yeah, hedges. Yeah, check it out. We can gather a white rose here. Now, this will be like the last thing I do before calling it a close. No, we have a dagger. We could always try cutting the The dagger isn't up with strong this. enough to cut through the magical hedges. Oh, is that right? Uh, I actually forgot what he said about that, but this will be my last thing before calling it a close because... I realize I've been making some Alexander long episodes, wields the scythe, to, determined so. to get past the magical rose hedges. Yeah, but you know, working on Project Jurassic stuff. The leaves and, uh, fly as Alexander tries to cut life, the branches you know faster than they can grow and back together. If you don't know how it is, you, you know you he will. Sees light. Trust me. Eventually, everybody knows how it is. He's through. It's it's one of those things, man. Eventually, they, eventually it is, and you realize that you know how it is. If I'm not making any sense, it's because you know, you don't know. And you will. Who dares enter Minotaur, we just went right, No. My name is Same Alexander. Voice actor of the Minotaur. I didn't mean to disturb you know, your private. They probably garden. only have like five voice actors anyway. No. Whatever. And yet, monsieur, you could hardly have accidentally broken through the three enchanted traps of the Isle of the Beast. No, we just sort of stumbled. Uh, I, you know, I suppose it is simply my nature to break through enchanted traps. Is that supposed to be funny? You might Alex, be a or are you just being a rat. snot goblin? I know the nature I believe the latter is the all case. too well. This face you see Your before face. was hideous, is it not? Yeah. Well, for the and face of a beast, this is the same voice it is really the, quite the Minotaur noble. and... Uh, the king I'm of the glad you ones. like it, for and, you will soon own uh, one just like has it. I too was once a pretty prince, caring I'm for nothing sure the but same voice as the narrator too. and rescuing fair maids. So yeah, like I said, they're probably only like five voice actors. Max. I rankled one too in this, many evil hands. This game. One dark night, I was turned into this obscenity you see before you. Warped in turned shape into an obscenity? and trapped like, on this like enchanted curse, island over a hundred years ago. It's kind of punny in and of itself, Surely isn't there it? is a way off this island. Oh, surely. You broke in, did you not? And yet think, where would I go clad you so have a lot of snot, eloquently huh? as I am with this hmm. silk Listen to the sound. Of, I'm sure he's just holding his nose. You listen see, to the boogers, my man. Tristan is also <laughs> my the boogers. You are the first to break through the barriers in lo these many years. That is, except for the druids who stole my heirloom coat of arms. If there's if any way I can just help. So, anyway. Help? You? I'm afraid you don't understand. The enchanted barriers were a warning and protection for you more than for me. Your prize for forcing your way past them is to join me in this dire life. Oh, no! By the laws of this sorcery, you are doomed to be trapped in the form of a beast. Your reward for broaching this like garden is to or... be my slave. A slave mm -hmm. as beastly as I am. You have only a few hours of humanity left. But that's not few possible. Hours, as in a few minutes there must be of some play. way to break the enchantment. Spells yeah, always have a weakness panicky. somewhere. Oh, no. The enchantment you are under is tied to my own. Or oh, the sorceress left me a way out. 
but I'm afraid it was only her final bitter joke. Yeah, you, you see where this is going? I oh, need only find a maiden to Gotta join me here to share my castle, my life, willingly. Take another look at me. You can't Your help face. but admire that yeah, man. terrible cruelty and cunning. I shall try oh, to dude, you actually such you, you got good hair. For Cosima's hmm. sake. Scroll down a lot and then people won't Truly? be able to see nothing. How determined of you. Or if you were to wear I a proper helmet, I would not waste my last few hours as now, a man might on be an impossible really knock it well. However, you may do as you please. I give you this token. <sighs> It's my family ring, and the only heirloom I have left. If perchance you should... If you think you have found a maid... <sighs> okay, Minotaur, chill, I shall dude. give her this ring. Oy. Yes, Relax. she must accept it of her own free will. We got this crap under control. By doing so, Ardvark. she accepts me. Not that we she shall this. find anyone, mind you. Your time is short. Count the minutes on your yeah, fingers actually it is. while I didn't your realize fingers this you scene would be like five prince. minutes instead of your three. Your master will like a... you. Man. Okay, I'm looking at my timer. And your face. Well, actually, now I'm not looking at your face, but... No, I wasn't looking at your butt. Alright, till next time, everybody. This is Foog. And next time we will return for more Let's Play King's Quest VI.